do you sometimes get caught off guard on the spot and you don't know what to say and maybe you're having that brain fart and for three to five seconds just saying nothing at all you get very self-conscious and you don't know what to do in this video let's talk about how to conquer that so, and also how to recover from a brain fart or sometimes when you put on spot, uh, how can you know what to do next? So I just want to give you three tips of how to tackle that every single time. And usually when you were caught off guard on the spot and you don't know what to say, there's always one thing that is very consistent. We stop breathing. There was once a great artist that once said, who do you, how do you know who's the most confident person in the room? the person who knows how to control his or her breath, right? Think about it. If a firefighter went to a room of fire and that firefighter does not have his or her breath under control, well, it's going to be a lot more chaotic. It's the same exact thing. And sometimes when we get caught off guard or yeah, you have to say some things on the spot and you don't know what to say, immediately, you know what you stop doing? You stop breathing, right? And most people, when they start breathing, that's when we get into trouble because our mind starts racing. And when you don't breathe, your brain cannot think clearly. So knowing how to breathe in these situations might seem like you're just keeping compose, composure or you're just looking for a next thought too, right? A lot of people, they feel like they have to keep on going on and on and on and on. So that's why that they get, you know, they get stuck up too. It's like, oh, I have to say the next thing. But knowing how to take a breath, right, is very important. So the next time you get caught off guard, link that to, oh, I'm aware of that. I don't know. I had a brain fart and I don't know what to say next. I'm just going to take a breath. And this is the exact same thing for people who wants to work on the, the ums and ahs. It's not to think of, oh, I'm going to stop saying ums and ahs. Instead, think of taking a breath. So you can be aware. So here's the thing. You have to be aware of the moment where you will say an um or ah, or you will might have a brain fart. Brain fart and you're just going to say, oh, I'm having that moment now. I'm going to take a breath. Okay. The second thing, if you get caught off guard, you don't know what to say, you get a brain fart, is use the environment. And this basically means use your eyes and use your ears. The best thing that you can do is listen. Well, what's happening around you? Can you say something like, there's a big noise, but right now I'm not sure if you can hear the, the, the video. See, you can use the environment. If a fire alarm goes off, use the fire alarm. Most people, when you get caught off guard, you lose being in the present moment. So come back, come back into the present moment and use your surroundings, use your eyes, use your ears. What can you see? What can you hear? Um, you can even tell people what's going on in your mind. So when you get caught off guard, again, hmm, maybe you can, instead of thinking of the next thing to say, you can start asking a question. Maybe if you're in a one-on-one, -on -one, a group meeting, even public speaking, you can listen to your audience and reverse it back. They will give you all the material. You can start asking, asking a question. And from asking a question, you will even get more material to work on. And plus, they'll give you time uh, to think a little bit more too. Tip number three, speaking off the cuff is actually, uh, to me, not speaking off the cuff. You can have communication foundations that if you get on the spot. For example, what I mean by foundations, you can think of them as um, structures. So one can be, for example, there's a lot of people who tries to uh, be on camera too. So for example, there's one uh, structure that could be, it's like writing, right? Yes, no, and here's what I think. Or another structure, a foundation, could be, here are the pros, here are the cons, and here's what I think, right? The next time you get caught off guard or someone asks you something, you can just pull one of these in the back of your mind so you are prepared already. This will help the people who don't know what to talk about, but this will also help the people who talk way too much. Do you talk way too much? This will help you to learn how to be quiet and sit down too. So for example, you can think of it as, okay, what happened in the past, what's happening now? Or I'm gonna tell a story and then I'm gonna give a point, right? Every single time, if you get stuck on saying something, boom, you can switch into one of those. 
So which tip did you like the best? Or maybe you have some tips of your own. Again, my name is Kit Peng and on this channel, I'm here to help you improve your communication and public speaking skills. So I would love to hear a tip from you or which of the tips did you like the most? Bye-bye.